Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Congress is investigating allegations of serious security failures and deceptive practices at Twitter in response to a whistleblower complaint to federal authorities. That complaint by Peter Zatko, better known as Mudge. He was security lead on Twitter's senior executive team from November 2020 until January of 2022. And last month, he filed an 84-page complaint alleging, quote, extreme egregious deficiencies in Twitter security, and that it makes false misleading statements to the public and federal regulators, it being Twitter itself. Zatko's attorney, John Tai, spoke to our Nicole Killian about the allegations. What he found inside this company uh, was unlike anything he'd seen elsewhere. Does he still believe that Twitter users are still at risk? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and that's why he reluctantly has decided to become a whistleblower. In a statement, Twitter said that Zatko's complaint is, quote, a false narrative that is riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies. Uh, the statement goes on to say security and privacy have long been company-wide priorities and will continue to be. Nicholas Thompson is CEO of The Atlantic and the former editor-in-chief of Wired, and he is here. You're also quoted, as I discovered this morning, <laughs> in the complaint filed by the whistleblower. Yes. Uh, so what do you make of the, uh, I think, the most serious allegation for the general user that the security on Twitter is lax? Mm. Yeah, so there's a long, detailed section of the report of the whistleblower complaint that says Twitter gives too many people access to user information, that it doesn't treat data properly, and that it is in violation of the decree with the FTC that dates back, you know, 10 years. So that's the most concerning allegation. The national security concern that is alleged by some lawmakers, yeah. what, what, what is that concern and, and are you concerned about it? Yes. Yeah, so remember back in the summer of 2020 when the 17-year-old got access to all of these prominent Twitter accounts? He got Elon Musk's account, Bill Gates's, and started tweeting out crypto scams. Now, right. that was weird. It was, it yeah. caused, it actually led to Mudge getting hired to fix the problems. But now imagine that it's election night. And imagine somebody gets control yeah. of a prominent account and starts to spread misinformation. Hmm. That's a real problem. Imagine they say that the U.S. has made some foreign policy decision that can't be taken back. Twitter is very important to public communication. If hacks are a real risk of that sort, that's a problem. That's important. Well, and it is a real problem. Back in even 2013, if you go back, it was tweeted out that there were some explosions at the White House. It sent right. the Dow plummeting. Hmm. And we've only now, you know, as we've become this 24-7 society, latched onto some of these things over and over and over again. If I'm an average user, what is the biggest problem for me in this? So if you're an average user and you believe... Which the, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you believe the complaint, and there are a lot of questions, and there's a lot to be learned, and I want to, you know, take some time before I fully agree or disagree with it. The biggest concern would be that your information on Twitter is at risk, both to employees, to bad actors, or to hackers. That's a big deal. Yeah. Well, yes, except Twitter's not your bank. Right? They have your phone number. They have your DMs. There's a lot of stuff you don't want accessed. Of course. But it's not like your life is going to be saying. ruined if a 17-year-old gets access to your account. Now, um, depends on what's in Nate's DMs. Yeah. <laughs> it depends just, on the person. It's fans personal wanting issue. autographs. That's it. Um, now, Twitter say that they fired Zacho for poor performance. So how much of this is, I guess... Factual, and how much of this is a disgruntled they, former employee? They say he's being opportunistic, and it all dovetails with Elon Musk trying to claw back, trying to claw uh, back from, bid to from buy. buying Twitter. I mean, the timing is a little suspect. The timing is extremely interesting. Twitter is definitely very critical of him. There are some Twitter employees who've said, "This guy, we don't really believe this guy." There are other people out there who are like, "This is the greatest mine in security ever." Like, how can you possibly say anything bad about him? So, more to learn about that. But it does dovetail with the Musk case extremely interesting ways and just yeah. gives that soap opera a little extra spice. Do you happen to know how he got the nickname Mudge? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> either. I've been looking for it in the coverage. Yeah. Please, uh, find, find me the on Twitter. Send him a DM. Nick Thompson, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. you.